Don and Gino. Partners and a team behind you now for almost three years. Don and Gino, team uh, Don Gatling, Gino Fonti. Every Thursday, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m., sharing with you what you need to know, want to know, and have to know to help guide you to personal financial wellness. We love doing this every week. And you can get these clips of wisdom, not all ours, trust me, uh, from our pros by going to donandgino.com, D-O-N-A-N-D-G-I-N-O.com, and click on the Listen to Chat Live. You can actually join us in our new beautiful Vault Media Studios right here at Cherry Creek Mortgage. We built this thing. It took us about a year to build out our studio. you got to check it out. And you can also see our very handsome guest, uh, Mr. Brandon Montemayor. Join us again. Glad you're with us again today, buddy. Thank you very much. Pleasure, as and, always. And it's, it's it. very nice having you because Brandon is busy. And they always say if you want to get something done, hire a busy person. <laughs> and that's Brandon. And just like us, we talk about this all the time. I love how we share best practices to help become better for our clients. Absolutely. Not just to make more money, but to actually provide better service and better uh, information and opportunities for our clients. And you, you and your team do that. Yeah, we try to operate every day like we're going on vacation tomorrow. Boy, that, yeah. that's we talk about that all oh. the time. Yeah, Isn't how efficient true? are you out there? Everyone, I don't care who you are, even if you're the mom taking care of home, all the laundry's done, all the kids are cleaned, all the pets are fed, and you're ready for vacation. You Trust be, me. You nothing become the king or queen multitasker, or multi-task uh, switcher. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, we talk switcher, about that. We're right. just going to go on vacation <laughs> every week, and that way we're very efficient. Absolutely. Sounds like a good plan. <laughs> yeah. Well, they actually say that you should plan, so always have something planned in the future to look forward to because it does actually motivate you. Yep. So, so I'm always planning, you know, lunch as I'm eating breakfast. And <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you look good, look buddy. You've been trying. trimming down. Getting there. You're, you're joining joining the uh, slim down group. So we keep getting gaining more and more room in our studio every every week with all our guests <laughs> losing weight and us losing weight. Yeah, that's a good trend, though. You know, yeah. we're always talking about following the trends. That's a good trend to have is that we've all, not like you said, not only ourselves, but most of our guests, too, in the last two years let's say we've seen a trend of most of our guests and the people around us trying to make an effort to be healthier to be better and yeah we got i mean great. we can name all we have seven of uh, seven uh, or eight of us now at cherry creek mortgage they're all now going to afterburn fitness and losing weight we lost oh, combined getting probably close to 300 pounds in our office wow. um healthy Good. i mean it's not just dieting it's actually lifestyle changes yep and our guest steve corn's losing weight right now luez i mean all our people and brandon montemere looking so well, starting to look like my picture again. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's funny is so, same with Gino because we, you know, well, we joke about it because we have a caricature as our logo. Uh-huh. So I was able to, you know, we are the slim Gino down and I was able to add hair. I got to figure out the hair piece. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing a hair, hair piece. piece. <laughs> I know. Gosh, did I set myself up? Uh, <laughs> as you can tell, this is a live show right uh-huh. here on the Donna Gio Real Estate and Finance Show on AM 1220 KHDS. All right, Brandon, let's talk. Share with us. We want to share this this important piece and, and let us know if you agree because we've been pretty on target. For the last three years, we've been able to nail the bottom bar market here six months before. Everybody was willing to throw it out there. Everybody's waiting till the, f- the, the numbers come across, but we saw the numbers well in advance, just like you. I know you study, so I guarantee you're going to jump on this. We, we picked uh, basically when rates were going to go up. We let everybody know that they're going to go up, and sure enough, they did. One of the things we're warning everybody because the media unfortunately loves drama a drama piece is going to come up because we had this huge real estate crash and then we had this last su- last spring through summer a huge real estate boom basically in a year we had all these year over year price increases across the nation in double digits we're talking between 11 and 12 and a half percent and in los angeles we had appreciation over on an average there's obviously pockets of higher and lower but on an average of 22 to 25 percent yep there's going to be a time here because we're going from the bottom we had all this uh distressed inventory that is now gone so everybody's going to freak out when we don't have 22 percent because it's already down to a little over 20 now which is pretty strong yep (laughs) It's going to go to single digits in the future just because it can't go up 20%, 25% year over year. So when it goes down to single digits, people are going to freak. Yeah. And I mean, and, and it has to or else we'll be right back where we, we were. started 
a few years ago. Yeah. And yeah. it's just, I mean, although we uh, history repeats itself and we do have short memories, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll be back there probably at some point again. Uh, but I think the last drop, you know, we got our hands smacked pretty hard as a as an industry all around that. Uh, it still left a little bit of a scar. And, uh, you know, people are moving a little bit more cautiously. But we're, we're going to start seeing, I believe, back to the, you know, the normal real estate annual uh, appreciation average, which is, well, the, you know, 3, three to, to 5%, right, 3 to exactly. 6%, absolutely. Right. So I will caution one last thing. That number, <coughs> that 20% number, may <coughs> drop off significantly in one month. Yes. Because you may see it go 20, 19, 18, 6 and that's okay because yeah. it, okay. it hit all pretty much once did it not i mean it just Absolutely. when it just went okay we're we're good where everybody got confident even warren buffett finally threw it out there six months after us well that's because <laughs> you know what you know i i'd like to always believe that we're smarter than warren buffett yes but at the same time i just believe <laughs> did that you he really just, say that on the air sure i said, I said <laughs> we'd like to believe that oh, okay so, there's a big so difference yeah and that but let me clarify <laughs> i don't think we are i think he bought every piece of real estate before he came out and said it Absolutely. <laughs> oh, he's a smart man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now he's Actually, like, what he now did. that I own everything, I want it to go up. Exactly. Yeah. Real estate's a great investment. Yeah. Exactly. In yeah, fact, he didn't say that before he bought it. That's well, a good point, Gene. Don't forget, That's he funny. purchased Prudential uh, last year, and he created Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate. Right. Um, so, you know, he truly believes in real estate, and I think timing was everything for him. Well, and you want to see where things go are going? Follow guys like that. Yeah. You know, pay attention to what they're doing, and I think when they they're going quiet, you. when they're quiet, that's when you need to be paying attention because, you know. Well, I mean, it, it's that follow the herd mentali- mentality you got to be careful. We've been warning a lot of people about the stock market because it's fun to be part of all-time highs and watching your IRAs, 401ks, your investments go up like crazy and you want to ride that high. But we also warn everybody that there's, gonna, there's corrections because once it starts correcting, everybody gets nervous and they start jumping on that bandwagon. We saw it a little bit just today. You know, everybody just like some people were taking profits and more took profits, more took profits. All of a sudden, before within a blink of an eye, it was down to 40 to 200 just because like, uh oh. So we've been warning all our listeners to please talk to, uh, uh, you know, their financial pro- professionals or if they don't have one, make sure they get one so they can protect themselves. Yep, absolutely. And that, I mean, that's on in your real estate investments, your uh, other retirement, whether it's stocks. Um, anything like that, you, you need to have a. You need to keep an eye on that, and that's something. Uh, although some of these are not as risky, even real estate, you know, over a period of time, 10, 15 years, you know, it's always going to come back if you just kind of stay consistent with it. But you need to keep an eye on it, you know, and always know where you are, you know, what financial position you're in, you know, and that's a. Uh, well, you watch the, right the markets really well, Brent. I know you and your partner Jace in, in multiple markets, not just here, but here, San Diego, Las Vegas. I mean, you guys are spread out. You guys are not just in this little bubble. You right. guys are able to watch it in, uh, in a lot of different areas to see the trends, which is definitely helping you guide your clients in as to when is a good time to buy and also negotiate how uh, what they can sell their home for properly yep. and get the most for their money and how to purchase as little as possible by having your negotiation skills. Absolutely. And, and you know, again, that comes in huge, understanding the market, understanding what the trends are, you know, what we need to give up in the negotiations in order to get what we want and which positions we can push a little bit harder and try to take a little bit more so i mean that was one of the biggest things in a market where we had 5 10 15 offers on homes we were still getting our offers accepted yes you, you know, were for our buyers you know and it had a lot to do with the people we surrounded ourselves with who uh, you know knew other agents and had those relationships like you guys i mean you guys were a huge part in helping us getting well, things like you. that done um, and then it's understanding the market knowing you could give up a little bit here you know take a little bit here and that would be attractive to a seller or a buyer and again that's what helped us move through that market and still continue to grow when some other people might have had some issues and offers were getting kicked out over and over. You know, if it if you're getting the same result and it's not the result you want, but you keep doing the same thing, it, it, what do they say? It's the definition of insanity, insanity right? right? Right, right. So uh, we are very good at changing things up and making quick moves until we find what works, and then we see a pattern of it not working, try to move on to the next thing. Sound words from Mr. Brandon Montemayor, Keller Williams <laughs> VIP Properties. 
I mean, I love that your your tenacity. I love you're an a, you're an athlete. Yes. Always have been. Uh, Not so much now. I'm working on that. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you, you've been yeah. a top baseball player. You're, you're friends with one of the best baseball players in in the major leagues. Yeah. I mean, you're yeah. connected to this. You're competitive. And I love that because you have that same tenacity when you go to help your clients and build your team, and your team's amazing. Yeah. When we come back, why don't we talk a little bit about your feelings of where we're at right now. We've, already, we've talked a lot about where we were, and now things are changing again. We have another shift happening, mm-hmm. as you call it. I'd love you to share with our listeners, uh, all of you out there, where we're at now and the importance of making a move now. Because a lot of people tend to wait again with the herd. They're going to wait for the spring fling. Yeah. But I think we should, <laughs> I think we should talk, to, nice. uh, talk to all of you out there about some great advantages if you're a buyer or seller with Brandon Montemayor, with Keller Williams VIP Properties, and the Don and Gina Real Estate Financial. Don't go away.